Guys, look what I have here. These aren't supposed to be out yet. Some people have them, some people don't. Technically, I don't. But I had this instead. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Allow me to blow your mind. Wow, look at this. So, this is a bootleg, as you might call it, a knockoff, a fake, not legit. This is the Air Jordan Christian Dior, the high version, as you can see. These were originally supposed to come out back in March in a raffle, but because of coronavirus, they were delayed, and it's still continuing to be delayed. So, oh wow, just look at this. <laughs> All crushed. Comes in the uh, old bootleg packaging. But, uh, I mean, let's let's look at some of the things that this is supposed to have, you know, what the real one has. Let's see if these are missing anything. So far, I mean, look, it's looking pretty similar. Swoosh looks about right. Looks like the insole is a little different. Unfortunately, these are a size 12. You know, me being a 13, I could probably still walk around in these, but you know, just be a little tight. Let's see if they have the uh, steel aglets. Oh, they do not. Pretty basic uh, Nike laces right here. Not what the official Christian Dior's have, which are way cooler. By the way, the Christian Dior is supposed to cost like $2,000. And these were the $84 version. So <laughs> it's nice to see that they were able to get the Jumpman and Air Jordan logo on this though with the keychain. But it does not say Dior on the backside like it does on the real pair. Okay, so the leather on this, I mean, it is leather. It's crushed and messed around with, but I mean, compared to a real Jordan, which I've got right here, it's also a high. Doing a little comparison here. This kind is a lot softer, I guess you could say. But I heard that these were being made just like they made the old Jordans, how they would use big chunks of leather instead of how they do it now. So that might be why. But then again, these are knockoffs and that is probably why. I also think that this shoe might be a little more tan than it should be. I think the, the real piece is uh, a lot more gray, white mostly, but this kind is uh, definitely going towards tan. But yeah, I think one of the main things about the shoe being a knockoff is, is the laces. This is definitely just a normal, normal gray laces. And the ones that go on the real pair definitely look like they belong to a $2,000 shoe. So for the soles, I mean, this pretty much matches up pretty well. The letter sizing and maybe the font are definitely not the same. It also still says Dior Air on the tongue here, just like on the real pair. Also inside here, it matches with the real pair, how it says Miami right here. However, on the real pair, it kind of looks a lot more rectangular and stitching is a lot more well done, of course. On this one, it's just, you know, usual knockoff stuff. Okay, so taking a look at the insole here, I don't think Jordan's usually look like this on the inside but uh, that's what we got and it's definitely not the same as the real pair it looks like it still has the air dior on it though but i'm pretty sure on the real pair it has all the dior d's going all through it oh and here is another big thing too since the real christian Dior's are super limited there's only 8500 so when you get yours it's the real one it's going to be numbered so on here you're not going to find that number you're just going to find miami on both the shoes here instead of on one of them being your number out of 8,500. Yeah, it's just a bunch of things in the shoe that just say knockoff. I mean, I mean, looking at the holes right here at the toe box, I mean, look at these, some of these aren't even punched in properly. But I mean, it still looks pretty cool. Not terrible. It's probably a good idea to maybe compare the smell of these. Maybe that's another way to figure out if a Nike shoe is a fraud, 
Let's look, I've got the real one here. Yeah, it smells like a normal Nike shoe, a new shoe. And this one, you know, they, they both actually kind of smell the same. Okay, though these may be pretty small, I'm still going to go try them on right now. So overall, these are pretty impressive. I mean, they are very similar to the legit pair, which I am hoping that those come out soon. Another thing I noticed about these is that the Jumpman is actually the same as a normal Jumpman on a real Jordan, which is pretty impressive. Another thing I noticed is that the flap, which I believe in the real pair is actually not attached, is, as you can see, very attached on this one. It is sewed on. So that's another way to tell if it is fake. So overall, this shoe makes a pretty good mock or ringer, doppelganger, imitation, clone, fake, ripoff, all those other words for not legit. I mean, there's a lot of things in this that, you know, just by a glimpse, you could be like, well, it's not real. I mean, but for the less experienced, don't get fooled. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing a knockoff review. If you'd like, hit that subscribe button. There will be a new unboxing coming out soon.